And welcome back. While you're ringing in the new year, you may not know it's not just New Year's Day, but it is also National Bloody Mary Day. And a lot of national days we're going to be getting to all year. Here to talk about that popular drink is Mark Holden with Dine Catering. It's a very complicated drink to make. A lot of ingredients there. Not really. It's um, it's sometimes people have these in the cupboard, so uh, <laughs> it's always one of those great things. But it's also it's to cure hangovers. That's what the reason why Bloody Mary was created for, because of all the minerals and the salts and all the and basically, if you've overindulged on New Year's Day, on New Year's Eve, is that happens sometimes. Just yeah, you know, there's there's different ways of doing things. You know, you can go back to the ancient ways of eating raw eggs and things like that. Eating raw what? R raw eggs and raw <laughs> eels and things. That, that that was just completely wrong. So I think this is the better way of actually curing a hangover, and let's still have a Bloody Mary. You so, could, uh, yep, go ahead. So we'll, we'll, we'll start. Okay, Bloody Mary. A little bit of ice in a shaker glass. Okay, and then we're going to take two shots of vodka. We're going to add one dash of Tabasco. I use green Tabasco. I think it's got a little bit of sharper taste. Two dashes of Worcester sauce. I had a little bit of smoked salt. Now, Smoked salt. Just gives it an extra little bit of flavour. And then we're going to add four dashes of the tomato juice. And what do you do with your pickle juice after you've... You throw it away and you just you never eat pickles in the first place. I know, I know that's your favourite, but just <laughs> a little bit of pickle juice in there. OK, and then what we then do is we just, just, just shake it up and then we're going to make a Bloody Mary shooter. Shooter. But yeah, so this is, these are all on my menus. So these, these little appetizers are on my menus. I use this, and what I use is just make a little bit into a shooter. Add celery, add candied bacon. Is that bacon? Yeah, yeah. Candied, candied bacon. Candied so, bacon. And then a little bit of the dill pickle inside that as well. So I've used the, uh, the Miklos pickles. Miklos pickles, I've got a <laughs> so much. It's not. <laughs> Or you could not drink and then never have a hangover and then... Well, I suppose you could, <laughs> you know, but, you know, I'd be a very sad person. <laughs> He'd be a very sad person, but now he has this drink. You can learn more about this where? At dinecateringevents.com. Dinecateringevents.com, and welcome in the new decade. Thank you so yes. much for coming over. Thank you very much. All right, you can find this re replay on click2houston.com after the show under the community page on our website, and we'll be right back.